all animals. Uh, waiter, there's a frog in my salad. An animal lover from Southern California was hopping mad when she found an unexpected source of protein in her food. The woman, a strict vegetarian with meat allergies, had an unforgettable experience while eating an organic salad she bought at Target. Fearing she may have accidentally eaten some tiny frogs, the woman rushed to the bathroom and blew some organic chunks. Even worse though, the woman and her husband then thought the motionless frog had croaked it. Luckily, however, the husband performed CPR on the frog and brought the little guy back to life. The Kermitted couple now have adopted the frog as a pet and named him Lucky. And it's lucky for Lucky he didn't end up in a salad bought by a Frenchman. They'd be queuing around the block if Target opened a salad bar in France. Target offered the woman a $5 gift voucher as compensation. She says that doesn't even cover the cost of the salad. Guess you should have told them to hop it. Stay tuned for more ribbiting stories. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Girl bites into McDonald's chicken wrap and tastes frog. Like any kid, this 10-year-old girl was excited to eat at McDonald's, but after taking her first bite, it wasn't exactly a happy meal. On October 31st, Cordelia Buckley and her dad made a snack stop at McDonald's. After a long day trip in the car, they ordered what Cordelia probably thought would be a tasty, tender, big flavor sweet chili chicken wrap. They got their McDonald's meal and were ready to head home. Her dad driving, Cordelia dug into her bag and pulled out her food to feast. But when she bit into the hefty wrap, she immediately tasted something funny. Well, it wasn't so funny, actually, when she put down the wrap and opened it up to find a dead frog. A Halloween prank, maybe? Disgusted, Cordelia's dad says he called McDonald's to complain, but the manager simply offered a refund and asked for the frog back to investigate. A McDonald's spokesman says there's no reason to believe the frog came from their restaurant. The frog, four inches long, is now being preserved in the family's freezer. Meanwhile, poor little Cordelia has reportedly sworn off McDonald's forever. Whoever said frog tastes like chicken, anyway. <laughs> Woman finds rodent baked into Chick-fil-A sandwich. Been having a craving for Chick-fil-A? Probably not for long. A woman in Pennsylvania is taking the fast food chain to task after discovering an unwanted extra topping baked into her chicken sandwich. Yummy! Last November, 46-year-old Ellen Manfaludi and her co-worker were sitting down for their lunch break, courtesy of Chick-fil-A. When Manfaludi took a bite, she felt something funny, but figured the bun was just really badly burnt. It didn't take long for her to realize she just tasted rodent. Apparently, the whiskers and tail were what tipped her off. Horrified, Manfaludi had the bun sent in for testing, and sure enough, lab reports confirmed the sandwich bun consisted of a small mouse or rat that appeared fried. Her lawyer has since reached out to Chick-fil-A, but claims the company has only responded by referring him to its insurance company. Chick-fil-A's owner, Dave Heffernan, has stated he won't comment on the allegations while an investigation is underway. Manfaludi claims she's been having recurring nightmares and is now seeking $50,000 in damages for her pain, suffering, emotional distress, sleeplessness, anxiety, and PTSD. If you think she's got it bad, just imagine that poor little rat became his own last meal. So, you still craving Chick-fil-A? Didn't think so. California man claims KFC sold him Kentucky Fried Rat. What does rat taste like? Um, kind of like chicken we hear. Deep fried chicken. Deep fried chicken from Kentucky, in fact. Deverus Dixon went to a Compton, California KFC on June 11th and ordered a three-piece chicken tender set. But as he dug into his meal, he says he noticed one of the pieces was rather hard and rubbery, and oh, it also appeared to have a tail. He then posted this picture on Facebook of what he claims is a deep fried rat, which of course went Black Plague viral. Unsurprisingly, KFC has strenuously denied serving deep fried rat, and the fast food giant says if you look at the picture from a different angle, it appears much less rat-like. And yeah, we have to admit, from this angle, it does look like it could pass for chicken, or whatever mystery meat they're using these days. KFC even offered to pay to have the meat in question tested in a lab, but say they have not received a response from Mr. Dixon or anyone representing him. Do you think there's even a tiny possibility of KFC in California serving rat? Now, deep fried bat we might buy, but rat sounds fishy. Ratty or something. Dead rodent found in Subway Sandwich in Oregon. Finding something nasty and unexpected in your food at a restaurant is the last thing you want. When Jay Armstead and Matt Jones went to the Subway restaurant in Lincoln City, Oregon for their lunch break, 
They were shocked to find a rodent in the spinach of a sandwich. Jones documented the incident by snapping a picture and a subway employee gave them a full refund. Following the discovery of a rodent in the spinach, the entire contaminated stock was disposed of and the restaurant passed a health check. Unfortunately, for previous customers, they unknowingly ate spinach that came in contact with the rodent, which is believed to have gotten into the sandwich from the bagged spinach rather than coming from somewhere inside the restaurant. Jones reportedly called Subway Headquarters customer service to complain and ask that other customers be notified about the rodent, but he said they laughed and said that would be impossible. Cheryl Connell, director of Lincoln County Health and Human Services, said that although it's not very appetizing, the risk of someone getting sick from eating spinach from the same bin as a rodent is pretty low. Worms found in KFC chicken wings. If you're eating right now, do yourself a favor and put down your food before you watch this. Authorities in India shut down a KFC after they verified a complaint that worms were found in their chicken in October 2012. Now a woman in China, identified only by her surname Lu, found the same creepy crawlers wiggling in her leftover chicken wings that she bought from a Guangzhou KFC. Miss Lu told Hong Kong's Apple Daily that she and her children ordered takeout from KFC Saturday afternoon. After a few hours, she went to finish the food and found tiny white worms squirming around on her New Orleans-style chicken wings. Lou immediately contacted the media. One reporter came by, cut open one of the chicken wings, and found six or seven live worms in the meat. They waited till the manager turned up at the greasy chicken shop to file a complaint, but Miss Lou was only compensated with a refund and another free combo meal. Seriously? Lou found the response unacceptable. She didn't even receive an apology from the manager. A spokesman for the KFC restaurant told the reporter that the chicken wings were grilled on high heat and there were no problems with the food processing or the management. 